Looking at option A, we can describe this set as the set of all x such that x is an element of the set of real numbers minus the set of rational numbers. The set of real numbers minus the set of rational numbers is the set of irrational numbers. But this set contains positive and negative irrational numbers. We want a set that contains only positive irrational numbers. So option A is incorrect. Looking at option B, we can describe this set as the set of all x such that x is greater than zero where x is an element of the set of real numbers minus the set of rational numbers. Numbers that are greater than zero are positive numbers. And once again, the set of real numbers minus the set of rational numbers is the set of irrational numbers. Hence, this set does indeed represent the set of all positive irrational numbers. So option B is correct. Looking at option C, we can describe this set as the set of all x such that x is greater than one where x is an element of the set of real numbers minus the set of rational numbers. This set contains positive irrational numbers greater than one, but it does not contain the positive irrational numbers between zero and one. Hence, this set does not represent the set of all positive irrational numbers. So option C is incorrect. Looking at option D, we can describe this set as the set of all x such that x is greater than negative one, where x is an element of the set of real numbers minus the set of rational numbers. This set contains positive irrational numbers, that is irrational numbers greater than zero, but it also contains negative irrational numbers between negative one and zero. We want a set that contains only positive irrational numbers, so option D is incorrect. Given that option B is correct, we can disregard option E, and therefore the overall answer to this question is option B.